Can the approval of adding bike lanes in Stapleton not only benefit the cyclists, but reduce speeding cars in that area? While speeding is a problem in multiple areas on Staten Island, it is a big issue in Stapleton due to the population of non-vehicle travelers. The plans for bike lanes have been talked about since 2015. This year, the Neighborhood Community Board approved the plans to create bike lanes, therefore making a more narrow road for vehicles. Developers and officials are hoping for a positive outcome that will reduce speeding and make sure that the area is safe for pedestrians. The plan's main focus is on the traffic safety for not only people on bikes, but on foot. The proposal includes bike lanes to be added to sections of Van Duzer Street, Tardew Street, and St. Paul's Avenue. This project will also enhance intersections by adding more crosswalks and bicycle routes for residents. Developers are also considering adding speed cushions to several locations, including Van Duzer. The Department of Transportation says that along with the new plan, they would like to add buffers to separate bike lanes from cars and have some of the bike lanes placed on the left side of the road to avoid bus lanes, similar to the setup in many Manhattan areas. Besides the bike lanes, the plan will also create more parking spaces for cars, including full-time parking in Stapleton. The neighborhood will see a growth of 13 new parking spaces and 20 overnight spaces. If you live in the Stapleton area, we want to hear from you. What are your thoughts about the bike lane plan and how will it benefit or affect you? For more information about this story and more news related blogs, visit realestatesiny.com forward slash blog. I'm Mandy Mack with realestatesiny.com reminding you to always stay connected. This way you would be first to know about all our company news and updates by subscribing to our YouTube channel, liking us on Facebook and following us on all your favorite social networks.